Namaste. My name is Amish Tripathi and I am the director of the Nehru Centre London. Now, some may think of Nehru Centre as just this beautiful fine building and it is a fine building no doubt. We have a wonderful art gallery out here. We have an awesome auditorium on the first floor with a capacity of 100 to 120 people right here in the heart of central London in Mayfair. But the Nehru Centre is a lot more than this fine building. The Nehru Centre is also an online platform. We are available on Twitter, on Facebook, on Instagram and on YouTube. And so the Nehru Centre is actually wherever you want it to be. Of course we'd love for you to come uh, to the physical events uh, that we organise out here uh, when we do organise them. But to join all our online platforms as well, this is a hybrid world. We are going to have offline physical events and online events uh, as well. So do join our online platforms. Uh, and do keep giving us feedback of uh, uh, what you think of it. We'd love to host you out there. We'd love to hear what you think of our events. And do keep sending in your suggestions as well. We do keep uh, imbibing and uh, learning from the feedback that you give to us to give you programs that you guys might enjoy. Thank you so much for your kind attention. Namaste. Jai Hind. Namaste to everybody to the dignitaries, uh, to the healthy people and not so healthy who want to be become healthy. So it is a very unique uh, program, Ayurvedic uh, seasonal detoxification to ensure uh, rejuvenation of mind and body. So at the outset, I would like to thank uh, Nairo Center for giving me this unique opportunity and um, the University of Latvia for having me here as visiting professor and uh, um, a heartfelt uh, thanks to the Ministry of Ayush for uh, deputing me here. Uh, so uh, let us carry on. So at the outset, Ayurveda Amrutanam, that is what Charaka says, among all uh, Amrutas, Ayurveda is the best. So in brief, uh, when we see what is Ayurveda, <clears throat> it depends on so many factors. It will take care of uh, uh, climate change as in Europe because I am in Europe today. And then we have um, everything that is uh, included in Ayurveda has been like for uh, kids, for adults, for everybody, uh, for all ages and all parts of the globe. Uh, geopolitically and uh, geoclimatically, we consider each one of them as unique. U is you are uh, young, O is old, and U is unique U. Can I have the next slide, please? So Ayurveda is uh, personalized and molecular medicine. We always speak about the Navadravyas, and that's how uh, Ayurveda is divided and understood. So we will go into uh, how they're culturally different, how food habits are different. Um, everything is different. So occupation, so on. Next slide, please. So we will go directly into the topic, detoxification. Is it for all? And if so, for why and when and what happens? So human body is... Um, uh, exposed to both endogenous and exogenous um, toxins. So we need to detoxify them. That is, it becomes uh, less toxic and it is thrown out. It is eliminated. So that is in brief about detoxification. But is it the same uh, in Ayurveda Panchakarma is what we will all be seeing next. It could be drugs, it could be uh, alcohol, it could be medications that we are taking. It could be the effect of the climate change. Uh, so Shodhana, that is Panchakarma, is to be uh, done. Next slide, please. So what causes um, demanding Panchakarma? So a lot of people eat junk food and more so during the um, uh, lockdown and uh, eating too much than needed and then eating a lot of meat is going to be not only harmful to the person, but also to the environment. 
you can see how bad it is so next slide so in india we have six seasons the 365 days are divided into six seasons as you all know and uh, in other countries we have four seasons so it is uttarayana and dakshinayana in india and uh, in the other parts we have northern and the southern solar system so it all depends on the movement of the sun next slide so we will see what is the types of ayurveda therapies uh, that is uh, shamana is where in uh, the medications are given so people uh, get relief from simple conditions and then shodhana is when uh, the toxic material is too much and we really need to throw them out then it is shodhana which we will be dealing about later on shodhana is the detoxification then daiva vyapashraya is um, the other parts of ayurveda so here shamana became worldwide known as shamanism uh, here uh, the panchakarma will be kaya virechana that is um, the first one um, then vamana kaya virechana is throwing toxic material out of the rectal uh, root vamana is expelling through the oral cavity and then shiro virechana through the blood vessels and um, basti is again uh, both uh, it is both uh, elimination and nourishment so panchakarma is uh, having preparatory phase main phase and the post phase next slide please shodhana is for healthy also and not so healthy also and it is seasonal also so it again depends on uh, who is going to get the show that who is going to get the detoxification more than detoxification it is detoxification and rejuvenation so as per the season and as per the individual um the uh, it will be designed the program will be designed by the experienced vaidya so uh, it is not for healthy is uh, who is yogya yogya is uh, the essence fit word which says yes these people can be included uh, a inclusion criteria and exclusion criteria is what uh, arha and anarha is being told in ayurveda most european uh, nations have four uh, seasons so we need to look at uh, the summer spring autumn and winter and based on that we need to design the therapies next slide please so here is what i have been talking about the uh, geo uh, climatic conditions here on the right side of the um, slide you can see the, uh, the indian uh, climates it is based on so many climatic uh, zones whereas on the other part of the slide you will be able to see the european uh, uh, seasons so the transition between the seasons is what is going to uh, tell us when we should have the panchakarma we have to be very cautious uh, because we are going to start the panchakarma based on each person next slide please so the first is the preparatory phase before we can start the panchakarma we have to have the preparatory phase the physically mentally spiritually a patient needs to patient or a healthy person needs to be aware of what is going to happen so sankalpa is um, a sanskrit word it means like um, oath taking you have to it is like a puja you have to say yes uh, this should uh, help me and help everybody so it is like uh, wishing for health for everybody and then uh, we go to the uh, deepana pachana so the cellular uh, level of understanding is you have to have good um, um deepana pachana is when we have ginger and um, cumin and all that what is very common in uh, the western countries that is uh, to be uh, used and then you have uh, the next slide next uh, swing 
स्नेह है ना सॉरी सॉरी गो बैक प्लीज काइंडली गो बैक सो स्नेह स्वेदना एंड देन मेन थेरेपी एंड देन वी कम टू दी पोस्ट थेरेपी सो वी हैव टू फॉलो ऑल इंस्ट्रक्शंस द वैद्य इज गोइंग टू गिव यू इंस्ट्रक्शंस एंड बेस्ड ऑन सो मेनी फैक्टर्स बिकॉज यू आर डिफरेंट it depends on your prakriti not just prakriti on your climate on your age on your satmya satmya means what you are used to what you have been eating all your life so that is how panchakarma is going to be done next slide please <coughs> so it's an a uh, bird's eye view a small uh, review of what is uh, swedana it is both uh, external and internal you have um, murda taila like you have oils applying on the head like um just abhyanga and then shiro pichu then uh, shiro dara then shiro basti so like that we have external uh, therapies wherein we use fat and then we have the internal where is we, we give orally and then uh, we give it for basti and i will be speaking about basti later and nasya also so olive oil is uh, uh, very common in the european countries and it is grown in excess a, a lot of olive oil is grown and people are used to olive oil and um, the uh, animal fat is the lard that is usually used so but today vegan diet is also catching up so we need to find out what that person can be given so based on the rainy season um sesame oil and then spring you have the clarified butter and then in summer it could be um like a muzzle fat and the uh, bone marrow so again as per the kosha how much a person can digest how much the person's uh, bio um bio sin uh, can be tolerating so based on that the kosha is decided and based on that it is given then a test dose called as rasiyasi matra is given because rasiyasi matra is very important because we find that a um, lot of people have not ever taken ghee and giving them ghee which is asatmya to them can be not tolerated so we need to find out what is the test dose um when i have been here in uh, the netherlands i have seen that people could tolerate some of them could tolerate some of them could not tolerate so we have to go for the test dose and then uh, the number of days and the quantity can be decided next slide please then we come to the swedana swedana is very common in most of the cold countries that is what is uh, sudation we have different types of sudation uh, wherein the uh, person gets uh, fermentation we have modified um, mm, sudation uh, it is it could be like personalized as you can see uh, it is a sudation as per the person being used in um, cedar wood and they have made it so you have so many uh, variations that are being happening next slide please considering the season dose and what you are accustomed to that could be given see you can see uh, london bridge uh, if it is cloudy and um, based on the dose we can't give same dose for everybody and it will be modified it has to be changed as per the person and then it can be given next slide we have um, more than 600 purgation uh, formulations why 600 can we not give one uh, molecule which is uh, acceptable to everybody no charaka samhita gives uh, 600 uh, virechana dravyas and it could be like um, permutations permutations and um, it could change it could be again different so it is very scientifically understood by charaka then he says what is the best what is the safest um one drug multiple uses so it could be 
anulomana, just a very mild one. Then you have sramsana, vedana, based on the um, number of times that the virechana has to, virechana is throwing out the toxic material. Next slide. <clears throat> so here you can see castor oil. Uh, for example, if you are giving it to a wrestler, it is not based on his weight. Um, it is based on the costa, how much the person can tolerate. Usually, uh, a person who is obese can tolerate very less um, uh, taila. And then you have uh, athletes, you have people in the family, it could be different. And uh, he, he, at the other end part of the slide, you can see Icha Bedi Rasa. So I'll be speaking about that also. Next slide, please. So here I have put in uh, a case wherein uh, we had given Virechana. It, uh, the patient was uh, having uh, herpes zoster and you can see what was what was the condition and how the patient became all right. We have given Panchakarma judiciously and we got very good uh, results. Virechana, Seka, Bidalaka. So then Rasayana. This was what we did to give very fast um, inexpensive results for this lady. Next slide. Huh. Uh, so again, I'm uh, looking at what is the dose? Dose depends not only on the weight and the age. See, you can see different animals there. Can we give those animals, all of the animals, the elephant, the frog, the monkey, the fish, the crow, everybody same uh, drug, same dose? No, it cannot be. Uh, it will be very unscientific if we give everybody the same dose. So here, uh, Trifala, everybody knows. So it is not only for Virechana, it's not only for cleansing your gut. It is also because it is going to stabilize aging. It is going to have multiple benefits. And then Avipatti Karachurna is one more formula, wherein it also adds like, mm, it uh, controls acidity. Then you have Rutu Haritaki. That is Haritaki is the myroblon and it can be changed uh, as per the season with different uh, vehicle, different uh, Anupana. Then you have Icha Rasa, which I showed you in the uh, previous slide, the last slide before that, wherein it could be one tablet and it could be controlled by the Vaidya outside. Uh, you see that uh, Loose motions are sufficient. You give the patient to take hot water, then it stops. Then you have Erenta Sneha. All this depends on the dose. Uh, we have to decide why, how, and when a person will get different doses. Next slide. Then here is one more case wherein we give um, uh, suitable Sneha Pana and modified Virechana, Hepatitis B. So, Hepatitis B, when it is a case of full-fledged uh, uh, Hepatitis B, the results are very fast. If it is just a carrier, the results are slow. Uh, and here, uh, under supervision, you can see the uh, pictures, what happened on the first day and what happened later. The patient was totally relieved of everything. Then you can see what was the enzyme thing that happened. Next slide. This is a small kid. When it's a small kid, based on the kid's age and uh, how much the ba baby can tolerate. This was a case of allergic uh, conjunctivitis. And uh, based on that, Wagbata says, you have to decide um, how much a patient, the child can uh, withstand. It could be, uh, it, this was a child of six months. And uh, sometimes we give uh, panchakarma, modified panchakarma, for both the mother and the child. Um, then after six months, the baby was fine. And the last stage, the stay, uh, picture you can see is, the child was um, six months, uh, six years, three years old. So we have been following up the case. Next slide, please. So this is uh, what is the winter dishes that are very common, uh, which will keep you warm in winter. Um, so here are dishes which 
some of them are available in, in india like the chestnut seed and um, all that but everywhere it is not available so people here in european countries uh, have still been taking what is good for uh, their countries in winter next slide winter months uh, there is a sauna which is very popular and uh, people wear different types of uh, dresses and they keep themselves very warm and feet massage is a very popular uh, thing that needs to be done so that uh, winter will not uh, hamper and also the um, shiras murda uh, taila next slide murda taila is what i have been telling here at the end of this slide you can see that um, a patient uh, from mm, diabetic retinopathy is being given takradhara you have people having shirodhara with taila they they you can change the uh, medication as per the need of the patient then there is shiro basti next slide please spring food uh spring sound to your table so here is birch sap which is uh, taken out from the birch tree and everybody likes to take that <coughs> sorry then you have ginger ale which is very popular and uh, that is what ayurveda also prescribes that uh, in spring you take uh, mm, uh, ginger and here we have different types of honey uh, in europe Uh, so many different types of honey based on uh, from where it is collected and how it is collected and how it tastes it is totally different the um, uh, honey that we get in india is totally different and honey that we get in europe in different parts of europe are different next slide please so we go to the next uh, panchakarma a very important uh, panchakarma that is vamana induced emesis so here uh, a lot of caution needs to be done because the season is not conducive it is a vata bhuvishta pradesha here so it is to be done very carefully then panchakarma is always done only under supervision uh, whatever panchakarma it is to be done under the supervision and then uh, what should be done on that day what should be done uh, after the day and later also so here a uh, lot of importance is given as to how the patient should be taken care of next slide caution to prevent vamana ati yoga so patient could uh, uh, have excessive uh, vomiting and associated with it it could be like um, patient could have Uh, bleeding in any parts of the uh, clavi- uh, above the clavicle so one has to be very careful uh, it has to be under this uh, acceptance of the shalakya person and the kriya uh, um, uh, kai chikitsa person they have to say yes this person can be given uh, vamana and it, in spring season it is much better uh, the day before and after is most important next slide here is one case uh, wherein uh, the patient had vamana virechana and uh, we had very good results in psoriasis psoriasis can be uh, cured it can be taken care of in some cases it can be relieved in some cases it can just go away so it is uh, like how the patient is taken care of next slide this is to cool your summer in europe so what do the people eat in summer like uh, different types of cucumbers different types of berries strawberry sweet basil you have uh, an array of uh, uh, dishes which people have been taking here and uh, it is very beneficial we need to understand that uh, so that we understand what is the satme of this people next slide mm, few common dishes in autumn we have uh, a uh, list of uh, what are the types of dishes that uh, is common in autumn next slide then the next important um, 
panchakarma that we are going to speak about is basti basti is not only a detox it is not only going to throw out the toxins but it is also going to nourish it is going to uh, prevent aging reversal of aging see in um, charaka samhita he says vaji karoti um, krusham brumhayati stulam karshayati chakshu prinayati uh, vali palita vayastapana so aging is stopped uh, patient becomes very healthy so everybody would want to have panchakarma but it has to be done only designed and supervised and only it can be done then it can be giving very good uh, benefits next slide summer dishes in europe so these are very commonly used in summer so we need to understand uh, why people use this uh, commonly in uh, europe next slide this is one more case wherein we had done virechana atopic dermatitis atopic dermatitis this patient was suffering from it from 10 years and she had stopped going to school and we started doing panchakarma and patient became totally fine as you can see in the last uh, photo and um, virechana yogya who is uh, whom you, you can give panchakarma so it is inexpensive treatment solutions are so many if we can give it in uh, correct condition uh, if we can de- design it and give it next slide please <clears throat> then one more uh, i have shown you here uh, in neurological conditions not only in neurological conditions it can be used in so many conditions so thousands of combinations are described in charaka samhita and chakrapani who came later has designed it and uh, uh, he has time time tested it is it has changed and here i have put one uh, mri of a patient of multiple sclerosis who underwent uh, basti and we saw that uh, the mri showed regression uh, the plaques stopped growing again uh, the symptoms stopped growing coming back next slide please so we have restrictions you cannot do anything and everything during panchakarma <clears throat> you cannot get angry um, excessive sexual activities day sleep um speaking loudly so there are restrictions as to why this should not be done and pharmacovigilance has been very specifically told by sushruta he says if you do all this what is going to happen so it is uh, strictly uh, taboo next slide please this is the next panchakarma nasya uh, you put medications it could be oil it could be uh, herbs it could be uh, different types it again it is decided uh, as per the patient and the condition and um, it could be lipid uh, soluble it could be water soluble it depends on so many things you have lot of variations ayurveda gives so many variations you need not st- stick to only one drug and uh, say it is common for everybody everybody can take the same drug next slide please then the next uh, important uh, panchakarma i am going to tell you is danvantri's leech why danvantri's leech because fda has approved it as a medical device but uh, in uh, danvantri's hands you can see he is holding leeches so it was there since centuries it is accessible affordable and acceptable uh, it is it can be used in kids uh, pregnant ladies uh, very weak everybody so it is so safe it is uh, again the condition remains you have to be very cautious as to how you are going to use it next slide please here you can see uh, the leech application that we have done in um, <clears throat> dacryocystitis Dacryocystitis is wherein the lacrimal duct gets swollen and inflamed. It is known as puya lasa in Ayurveda. 
So you can give Virechana, you can give Rasta Mokshana, and that is gone. And the uh, lacrimal duct is very healthy. So it is not only inexpensive, it can prevent surgery. Next slide, please. This is again showing what you should not do during Panchakarma. Uh, traveling around in uh, different vehicles, speaking loudly. When you are doing all the Panchakarma, on the other side you have seen Basti, Rakta Mokshana, Mana, Virichana, everything. So you should be very cautious or else these uh, on the right side, these are going to manifest. Next slide, please. So this is a very important slide, post Panchakarma diet. Um, diet uh, plays a very important role before, during and after Panchakarma. So you have to look at what is this person, uh, what has been this person taking uh, all, his, all his or her life. So based on that, you can give the dishes and slowly the food can be increased. The calories can be increased and the divine should be felt in each morsel that you eat. So Annam Brahma, that is what uh, is told. So when you eat, you should feel the presence of God and uh, give take it. Next slide, please. So Panchakarma is not only uh, um, as per the season, it is also as per the season of the person. Season of the person is like old age, young age, uh, infants. So, uh, Panchakarma Kurvita Matra Kala Vicharayan. So, you have to decide what is the dose, what is the season, and uh, so on and so forth. Next slide. Then, uh, why we are going to do uh, Panchakarma is we are to giving, we are to be giving Rasayana. Rasayana is the uh, ultimate rejuvenation. After Panchakarma, mm, these Rasayanas that we give are going to uh, be absorbed much better. It is going to give much better results. As you can see here, you are going, your uh, aging will stop. Um, your voice will become brilliant. You have so many uh, benefits of taking uh, Rasayana. Next slide. So, um, when I look at all this that is happening in Europe, it is very difficult to have all the Panchakarmas in all, all the parts of the world. So, uh, the best thing is heal in India. We want everybody to come in, come to India and heal in India. So, you can have a, a three months course of coming to India, enjoy India, um, uh, get accustomed to India and then you have Panchakarma and then you have um, the next uh, time you will have the Panchakarma and the last one you will have uh, the post Panchakarma therapies. Then you can go back home. Uh, we have uh, Ayush visa to take care of all this. I would be happy to take questions now. See, and they, here we get how can Ayurvedic detoxification practices help improve our mental health and uh, the mind is not out of the body. Mind uh, spiritually, um, physically, mentally, spiritually, you can become much better. It is not only for the physical body. It is going to take care of the mental uh, health also. And here we have a very important uh, question. How do we follow a circadian rhythm in Europe, especially during um, the summer time as the days are longer? Yes, uh, the Dinacharya, the Rutucharya all need to be understood and a lot of research needs to be done before uh, we can start uh, the Panchakarma in Europe also. I had been uh, fortunate to be working with uh, Sridhar Kasthore 
and uh, uh, acharya uh, and uh, got to know how it should be done so it can be done but with a lot of caution Thank you for uh, giving me this opportunity. So I thank the Nehru Center and I thank everybody for giving me this opportunity.